You know, when you go to the Mexican restaurant and they have that like salsa roja, it's just delicious and you can't put your finger on what makes it taste so good. We're gonna do it right now. We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna make an amazing salsa roja. Roja! Um, you can use it on anything, but we're gonna use it on, I'm gonna make chicken enchiladas and I wanna pour it on top. Make it delicious. In the aisle at the grocery store, I call it the Goy aisle. You know, they got the candles, they have the beans, they have the dry beans, the rice. Then they have these. They have bags and bags of dehydrated peppers. Don't be scared. Get them, because we are gonna hydrate them. We're gonna hydrate them. We're gonna fire roast these veggies up. We got peppers, garlic, onion, and tomatoes. And then we're gonna blend the shit out of it with a little bit of fresh cilantro. And we're gonna make an amazing, delicious, fresh salsa roja to go all over our chicken enchiladas. How do you rehydrate, just in case you're wondering? Put the dried peppers in a big bowl and add very, very hot water. And let that steep and sit with a piece of plastic on it while these roast in the oven. Equal amount of time will be perfect for both of us. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna roast the veggies, but these we're gonna put, I have a tea kettle on, so hot, hot boiling water, plastic wrap, we're gonna let it steep while we roast these up. I had to go with a bigger bowl. Steaming hot. So what we're gonna do is, yes, my plastic wrap is right below me. We're gonna put plastic over it cover it so it steeps a little bit, okay? Now we're gonna set this aside while we work on doing our veggies. So put that aside and get your sheet pan. Now on the sheet pan, I took Roma tomatoes that I had, I just cut them in half. Peppers, I just cut the pieces off. Onions, I peeled and quartered. Whole clove of garlic. So I'm just gonna kind of space this out along my pan. Put olive oil, drizzle olive oil, oh, veggies and then you can add your seasons of choice I'm gonna do cumin obviously we're gonna sprinkle cumin on top and then I have the adobo without the pepper is my favorite um, I'm gonna do adobo and then I have some fresh sea salt and I'm gonna shake these up give them a good rub ovens at 425 and these are gonna go in for half an hour until they're nice and charred up and kind of just, not charred, I don't wanna use the word charred so you think that we're burning them, roast it. We want it really well, really well roasted. Um, and then we'll put them in the blender with our rehydrated peppers. Okay, so, caliente, all of our roasted peppers and onions and tomatoes came out. Let's put it on the freaking side because it's hot. And we're gonna start, because I only have the bullet, Ninja, mark it on your list in case you want to buy Chef Cook or something. And we're just taking our rehydrated peppers, just taking the stem off, turning it upside down. Because they rehydrate, all the seeds come out and dropping it in. So watch again, taking that off, turning it upside down, all the seeds come off. You didn't watch the first time, let me show you. Take the, take the top off, turn it around, all the seeds come out, drop it on in. We're gonna blend all of our peppers first. Oops. So you can see like when the peppers rehydrate, they become really soft. <coughs> One of my nose, it's very spicy peppers over here. So taking the tops off, the seeds come right out. Any of the extra liquid and look at that. So smashing them down into the um, bullet because we're gonna blend these. We have a clear bowl, so we're gonna start putting it all in as we go to build all the flavors. Obviously, if you had a bigger blender, this would make your life a lot easier, but I like a good challenge. see the consistency. It's very thick and tasty, which is okay, because now in the same container, don't wash it, we're gonna add our fire roasted veggies, which are the tomatoes, our peppers, 
the onion and garlic, with a little bit of that olive oil that's in there. And now we're gonna blend this and add it to our rehydrated peppers that we get. And it's gonna come together very, very nice. You know what I love? Because of all the, careful because it's hot. All the different veggies, there's like three different colors. Um, yes, side note disclaimer. Be very careful. It's very, very hot. So we're gonna season it up with a little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. I'm not adding any spice because I have two different heads of peppers. I have the poblanas and I have some other peppers that are a little bit more spicy. And we're gonna start folding. Now on the bottom of it is definitely our darker peppers. And I'm using a non-stick spat to kind of fold and go around. Almost like if I was a pastry chef, pastry chef making chocolate mousse. You wanna, it's gonna get a nice rich color. Let me get a spoon so we can taste this. Um, it's all about seasoning it up. Once it's seasoned up, I'm gonna let it cool. I'm gonna make chicken enchiladas tomorrow, and now I have a beautiful sauce. And now we try. Caliente. Got a little heat to it. A lot of smokiness, that's what I like. I am probably gonna add a quarter cup of agave, just because I wanna brighten up a little sweet notes to it with the smoky flavor, a little pepper, definitely needs a lot more salt. And then I'm gonna let it sit. And the reason I'm not making the enchiladas right now and I'm making the enchiladas tomorrow is I want this sauce to come together. And that's the whole thing with the sauce roja, is to come together. Next time I think we're gonna try the green. Look at the color. Look at this. Very hot right now. So we're gonna let it sit. I think we nailed this one. I think we nailed this one. If you try it, let me know. Tag us, Salsa Roja, for your enchiladas.